What is up, hackers? Welcome back to another episode of Hack Crypto, where we hack all of our crypto education. If you guys are brand new here, be sure to be subscribed with notifications on for my next fire video. Now, in this episode, I'm going to be going over the current state of the AI agents market. Now, if that sounds like a foreign language to you, I did a video a little while back on Virtuals Protocol. And this is effectively like an ecosystem where AI agents can be spun up and created, and they have their own token that has its own market. That market has a market cap, of course. It has TVL or total value locked, which I am going to be using in this video, specifically because I've always seen TVL as effectively a health thermometer of the health of a project, because what you have there is liquidity. You have people able to come in, come out, and there's not much of a issue when there's a lot of liquidity, but there is an issue when there is very little liquidity and very little TVL, because if there's a hundred million dollar market cap, but then there's $10,000 in total value locked, you have a very big issue there because people can't exit uh, of that market. It is an extremely liquid market. So anyways, I'm going to be talking about these AI agents on the Virtuals protocol today based on the success of my previous video. A lot of DMs, a lot of comments, a lot of people asking questions about Virtuals. So I wanted to do this follow-up video on the overall state of the market at the beginning of 2025. There is a lot of comments, a lot of mind share on Twitter, which is a new metric that is on the Virtuals platform that allows you to kind of see how many conversations are taking place on X slash Twitter. So I'm going to go over the top five. There are some that I mentioned in the previous video. So if you haven't seen that, be sure to go back and check that out. But I'm going to go through the top five and a couple honorable mentions in here. But ultimately, I'm going through the TBL. So that is the health thermometer of the entire project. So that you know there's liquidity there. It is a healthy ecosystem and there are people engaging. I'm going to go through the number of holders. So the amount of people that actually hold the token in a wallet. And I'm also going to be going over briefly the market cap. But ultimately, I like the mindshare concept because this is a lot of the social component that's playing into these AI agents. And the ones that are the top ranking AI agents on virtuals are very much active on Twitter. So I wanted to go over the mindshare and a couple of other factors that are playing into the value here. But ultimately, I do believe that these are very powerful pieces of technology, and I'm bullish on every single one of these. I don't hold any of these. It's important to know that and mention that so that I'm not pumping these up. It's just a matter of really sharing with everybody here because of the demand on that last video. A lot of people want to understand what agentic technology is, meaning how you can automate different things and how far these AI agents are going to go. I believe this is going to change the world. And I think that there's so much potential to AI agents and what they can do to really just give us humans superpowers. So I'm going to dive onto the virtuals platform, show you guys the breakdown of the top five on the platform today as of recording this in February, 2025. And let's jump right onto it. As I said before, you have a couple different metrics that you can rank projects by the total value locked or TVL for the market cap. And for this video, I'm going to be going through the TVL because effectively market cap is a very manipulated number in many markets, but ultimately the TVL is very difficult to in, in, have any form of manipulation because it is just value that's locked up in the token itself. So it's very self-explanatory and market cap is uh, very different. So we're going to go through first the mind share piece, because I think that this is a really fun one. And this percentage is kind of based on the uh, top tweets and the amount of tweets and a lot of different things contributing to what's going on on Twitter. And I think that this is really specifically beneficial for the AI XBTs of the world, the bots that are on Twitter that are sharing every day and getting people engaged on Twitter. You can see obviously the just dramatic difference in mindshare on Twitter that the automation has. So first, GMAE. This is actually the framework that Virtuals developed to help create AI agents. So naturally, this is going to be a big project. This is going to be what a lot of people are leveraging, a lot of people are engaging with, because it is the, the framework, the, the actual underlying technology. And I think that there's so much to be said about 182,453 holders. This is a, a big big difference. From the first time I did a video on this till now, this is like a tenfold increase, if not more. And that is just the dramatic kind of uptick that Virtuals has had over the last few months here. And I would say that Virtuals mindshare percentage is huge compared to any other platform. They're just the runaway leader in AI agents and creating these markets. So game is the first one. This is classified as productivity. This is where you know, you're able to actually create uh, agents very quickly, easily, and using their uh, technology here. So AIXBT, uh, I actually 
on the last video mentioned AI XPT. It engaged with the video that I made. I had a lot of people that followed it engaging with me, people messaging me from the following of AI XPT. Super big fan of it. I believe that there's just an immense amount of value and it says the impressions. You can see it's pulling data directly from X slash Twitter. And it's of course gonna be the number one in terms of mindshare because it is just all on Twitter all day, every day. And my favorite part about this is that it just has the kind of lingo of, of the Web3 world, the crypto world. And that's really just how it's getting so many people engaging with it is just because it's it's like a, a human just kind of degen in the trenches. And I, I think it's really interesting how the, the AI has, has created that. So has the engagement and the impressions from X, has the top tweets, of course, the percentage of mind share, and the TVL is 4.47 million. Of course, game was 8.8 or 8.7. 4.4 million in TVL is a substantial amount for a AI agent. I will say that now because when I first did this video, it was not for 4 million. It was, it was much less than that and it's grown dramatically with 300,000 holders. That is the most holders on this list that I'm going to be talking about today. That is extremely bullish and a $237 million market cap. As I mentioned before, market caps are all over the place and TBL is really what I'm going to be talking about because this is where you have the liquidity. And when you have such a high market cap, you have $237 million market cap, but only 4 million in TBL and 300,000 holders, you know, 300,000 people and then 4 million in liquidity is is a, a good example of where there's, you know, a, a fair amount of value locked in there, but also there's a lot of people holding it and there's a lot of individuals holding it. So I would expect that this goes up two, three, four uh, X over the next few months. And that's TVL. That's not market cap. That is just the value locked because with so many people holding it, there's gotta be people thinking about the liquidity and everything and the liquidity crunch and all that good stuff. So next up we have Luna. $20 million market cap, 4.4 million and 292,000. So this is a healthier mix here. I believe that this is much, much more healthy. You have almost the same, almost 300,000 holders. You have 4 million in terms of uh, the liquidity and the total value locked. And then you have a $20 million market cap. I think that that is, you know, a little bit more aligned. Of course, you have a lower mind share because this is uh, on social, different social medias. Like I know it's on Twitter, but also it's on TikTok, and that is like a main platform. So it's pulling engagement and impressions from X, I believe only. Yes, this is uh, conversations about it on Twitter and conversations are happening about Luna on other social media platforms other than where they're pulling the X data. So this, I believe, is it aligns a little bit better where you have 4 million in TBL and $20 million market cap, whereas the 4 million uh, TBL and a $200 million market cap is a little bit, little bit extended out there. So prefrontal cortex convo AI, this one is a pretty cool productivity one. I think that this one aligns well with the 4.1 million TVL, 113,000 holders and $11 million market cap. What I would be curious to know is the overlap in holders. Like how many of these 300,000 AI XPT holders are holding the other top five? And if they're just spread out across these. So it is not as active anywhere near as Mindshare on Twitter. And you can see that it is reflecting in the market cap, uh, but not the TBL. TBL is still pretty strong, still pretty high. And just the amount of holders is, is quite high, but I'd be curious what that overlap is from these other top three. Next up, we have Vader AI. I included this in my previous video and really like this concept of, you know, trading almost like a, a hedge fund concept of really rolling up a lot of AI agents into a aggregated portfolio. And I think that there's a lot of cool things that Vader AI is doing. I mentioned it previously, but this one struck me as a little bit lower in terms of the engagement and the impressions on here. And I think that the amount of holders, 172,000, it is a, a lower, almost by a fourth, the size of AI XPT. And I see these as very similar AI XPT and Vader. I think my comments will reflect probably differently because AI XPT is the OG in the kind of automation Twitter bot space. But I do think that the market cap is more realistic. The TBL is lower, of course, than uh, the AI XPT, but it's on par with the Luna in terms of market cap. It's higher on market cap, but lower in TBL and about 100,000 less holders. So interesting comparison here between these different agents. And I think that the impressions are something to dig a little bit deeper in just because it is a AI 
uh, agent on Twitter, active, constantly talking on Twitter. So curious about those numbers. Next, we have the Iona, almost 100,000 holders, 1.2 million in TVL, and only a $1 million market cap. So super, super small there. Olin is a $1 million market cap, 1 million in TVL. So these two are really interesting. Their market cap is almost equal to the amount of total value locked, which is quite unique and a super liquid market when you have all these holders. I mean, that's a lot of people for only a million in the uh, TBL. So curious to see how that plays out. This one I mentioned previously, Bark Ruffalo, Pawsey. I mentioned this on the previous video, really like the concept. This is also really heavily uh, engaging on Twitter and X. So I'm, this is a really low market cap. I would have expected this to be at least 10, maybe 20, but uh, 110,000 holders. That's a big number, ladies and gentlemen. You can see the engagement on Twitter is really, really high. Look at the, the impressions on these versus the engagement. So you have 20,000 impressions and 1,000 a, a engagement. And then here you have 200,000 impressions and 4,000 engagement. There's a lot of, of different engagement percentages here, but I like to see these higher engagement, lower impression. That means your quality over quantity there. Some of these other ones are worth noting. I'll probably do another video on them. I have heard of Sequoia. Uh, this one is really moving quickly. A lot of mind share. I would have expected it to be dramatically higher than 0.09%. But this one I do believe is making big moves. Only 640,000 in TVL, which is quite low, but 11 million market cap and 127,000 holders. I have seen this quite a bit recently. So those are my kind of picks that I'm following closely. These are not financial advice by any means, but I think that there's a lot of really cool activity taking place here, especially with the mind share percentages and the engagement impressions and the TVLs where they break a million at the Bark Ruffalo level. So easily the top 10 are hovering around the million in TVL and the market caps are just really extended once you get into this range here. But I do believe that the mind share is what a lot of people are watching. Like, okay, what is the, the amount of people that are talking about it? Really interesting concepts. So I'll leave this linked below so you guys can check it out. That's it for my update on the market status of the Virtuals AI agent world. Super bullish on this world. I think that it is fun and this market is really dynamic in engaging with these AI agents on Twitter and all the social media that they're on is fun as well. So I encourage everybody to go play around with it, do your own research. This isn't financial advice. Just don't ape into all of these different AI agents, do some research on the value there, what they're doing. And I would argue that some of the trading ones are extremely, extremely valuable just based on the volume that they're seeing in terms of the inferences, people that are engaging with it. There's value there over time. Like value is accruing in that agent over time through the amount of engagements people are having with it. And Luna, same concept, the amount of people that are engaging with it, it's learning and it's just becoming more and more robust. So really bullish on a lot of these different concepts. I think that this is just the tip of the iceberg in terms of AI agents and where things are headed. This is really giving them a, the ability to monetize data sets, really just a new way of making revenue from AI. And I think it's really exciting. So that is it for this video. If you guys like these AI agent market videos, let me know, hit a like button, hit the, hit the like button, have notifications on, and I will see you here on the next episode of Hack Crypto.